Hello and welcome to another video of Power BI Beginner series and in today's video uh, we are going to work on two Power Query functions or Power Query options which are basically trim and clean text and those are from already provided to us uh, as part of the menu options which we are going to use. So first we will do, we will prepare some data for us. so we don't have a data for that so so what we are going to do, this is we are call, going to call column clean and this we are going to call trim, okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter some text and then we, you will observe the differences when we actually use it. So in case of trim, what I'll do is I'll actually, let's say I give space A, B, C, space, space, and then I give space, space, A, B, and I give A, B, space, space, then I give A, B, C, no space, nothing. Then I give DD space space FF. Then I give DD space FF space e space space space. Okay, something like this. In clean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down AB and I do Alt Enter. CD, I do Alt Enter. Okay, I say Alt Enter. Then I write down here ABCD. Nothing I'm doing here, I write down space, 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 A, B, C, D, Alt, Enter, Alt, Enter, then A, B, C, D, space, space, okay, Alt, Enter directly, directly Alt, Enter, A, B, C, D, something then not we are not going to do any activity here and we here we say space 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 and alt enter 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 okay and then enter okay so something like this we have created and i have already named it as clean and trim and i'm going to save it now what i'm going to do is in power bi and this is one of the file which we are using and we have used this one in quite a few videos and this i created data in front of you so uh, you can create just like i have created for your, you know your learning purpose and these this is really uh, important uh, for DA 100 that you know these options very well so now what we are going to do is we are going to go to our power query a uh, power bi and in power bi we need to have this data which we need to use so we go to our power bi and in data we need to have this clean and trim so we take this clean and trim data okay and once that's get loaded we will transform it so once it is loaded we click on the sheet one and we see this data and and you, as, as, as usual you see you know there will be certain issues and we directly go to transform data so instead of loading it first and going to transform data better directly to go to transform data so once we reach transform data definitely we need to do one operation which is even before i want to you know clean this up so what I'm going to do, the first operation which I'm going to do here is, you know, use first row as header. So now I'm fine. My first row is a header. The option is here, which is basically inside the home, right hand, uh, on the right hand side, third most on the right, you have the option, use first row as header. And once you click your row become header. And if you don't understand some step, like let's see what happens. This is our source, which has come out. Then it has been converted into this format where the column names are there. Then the change type happen like this is has been marked as test text so here it might have been detected one two three or text it doesn't know what data type it is it might be any now then it has been changed to text then promoted headers so we have promoted the headers and that's what the step is known as promoted header so we promoted the first row as the header and then again the data type change happens if those promoted header versus the data type so these are the steps which power bi has done for us okay so now we go to transform data and inside this transform data format we have two options clean and trim so for the first one we wanted to try this option trim or uh, second one we will try trim and the first one we will try clean so we'll try this option clean so now the clean is going to remove the non printable collected characters from the uh, selected column and that's what we are going to do and, and one of the character which is going to also going to remove is the enter and that's what we came here enter and some uh, invisible special characters are there that it can remove so we press this and you immediately see and, and it is not trimming please remember the see they, there's still a space here you remember we have given space here 
and if we might have a space also here uh, we are not able to see because it was only space space enter 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 but the one thing which we are surely sure that it has removed enter because it has removed enter from the others so the option in the transform under the format clean remove the characters which are non printed now trim is the option trim option as you know this remove the white spaces so remove leading and trailing white spaces from each cell in the selected column so column first of all let's select the column so this is the selected column now so we when you click on this that will become the selected column and and you need to be careful we, we were here and now we are here so i've clicked on the trim and i selected it and then i go ahead and press this button trim trim again under the transform of in the power query first of all in the power query editor or transform data option under transform data again transform format and then we go ahead and press trim and now you see the spaces are removed and we can actually create a new column and check it out whether really the space which were uh, behind are also getting removed or not because front spaces at least we are able to see that they got removed so what we are going to do is to test this that what actually has removed we will create a new column so how to create a new column in power query we can go to add column and we can click on custom column so once we click on custom column it will open this one and here let's enter a name test now what we are going to do is so first of all we'll say hyphen hyphen something like this we'll give and let's see ampersand box here or not in power query and then we say trim and then we say ampersand and then in the double quotes so in power bi or power query you use this and ampersand also works it is not giving a syntax error so now you know that see the between space remains the space which are between but be before and after has been removed okay so we are able to test and now also you know that you know we are able to remove the uh, enter and non printable character using the clean and trim we are able to use white spaces so these are the two functions try these functions out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.